Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about rational equation, rational inequality, and rational function. So last time, we had a time video na kung saan we have discussed the definition of rational function and the examples of it. So kung gusto mo siyang mapanood, ilalagay ko siya rito. And yung kanyang link ay ilalagay ko sa ating description box. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the three things na kailangan natin pag-usapan kapag narinig natin yung word rational. Lalo na lalo na kung ikaw ay isang grade 11 student or you are taking general mathematics. We have here the rational equation, rational inequality, and rational function. Ang target natin dito is to give you the definition, examples of it, and kung paano ba mas mabilis makikita na yung given ay isang rational equation, rational function, or rational inequality. Now, let's start with the rational equation. So, based sa pangalan niya, rational equation. An equation that involves rational expression. Again, an equation that involves rational expression. Next, rational inequality. An inequality involving rational expressions. Third, rational expression, rational function. A function f of x is equal to p of x over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions and q of x is not equal to 0. So let's start giving an example muna. For the rational equation, let's try having x plus 5 over x minus 2 is equal to 1 over 3. This equation is an example of rational equation. So, certain reason, basic reason, meron tayong equal sign, okay? Equal sign, at the same time, it involves rational expression. Ito po, this part is an example of rational expression. It is the quotient of two polynomials, okay? So, let's go with another example pa. Try natin magbigay pa ng iba pang example. Let's try having x squared minus 5 over 3 is equal to 4. Is this an example of rational equation? Yes. This one is definitely an example of rational equation because we have the equal sign. At the same time, we have the rational expression. Now, let's move on with rational inequality. For the rational inequality, let me give you an example. Let's have x minus 3 over 2 is greater than or equal to 5. This one is definitely an example of rational inequality. Meron tayo rito rational expression. Okay? And then it involves that inequality symbol. Inequality symbol. Kung kanina, equation, gamit tayo ng equality symbol which is the equal sign. Ito naman, inequality symbol na greater than or less than. Okay? So, ang mga may encounter nyo dito guys na mga, na mga symbols ay yung less than, greater than, less than or equal, and also greater than or equal in which nandito na siya sa example natin. Okay? Now, another example, sir. Can you just give us another example? Let's try um, x cubed minus x squared plus 10 over x squared minus 4 is less than 1. Is this an example of rational inequality? Yes, guys. Example siya ng rational inequality. Basically, we have the inequality symbol, which is less than. We also have the rational expressions. Rational expression. Okay? The, the numerator is a polynomial, and this one is a polynomial. Now, how about this one? Rational function. Based on the definition, a function f of x is equal to p of x over q of x. Na kung saan, sabi lang dito, dapat daw yung numerator and denominator natin are both polynomials. Tapos, q of x is not equal to 0. So, let's try having this example. f of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 8 over x plus 4. Look at the example, guys. 
This one is a polynomial. Polynomial meaning itong buo na to, irrational expression. At the same time, we have here the function notation, which is yung tinatawag natin f of x. This one is a function notation. Now, baka kasi makonfuse kayo. Sir, may nakikita niyo examples sa mga modules namin like y is equal to x squared plus 2 over 3. Ito po ba isang example ng rational function? Yes. Again, opo. Because f of x is also equal to y. We can replace f of x by y. Tandaan nyo, when it comes to function, your f of x is the input as well as your y. Input din po yung y natin. Okay? So definitely, this one is a rational function. Ngayon, sir, paano ba namin, ano ba yung sinasabi niya mas mabili, madalis na way na masabi natin sila yung rational function, rational equation, or rational inequality? Ito guys, ito, uh, kapag rational function sa rational equation, kung mapansin niyo, they are both using equal sign. Parang silang gamagamit ang equal sign. Ano lang ang difference nila? Ito, merong f of x at merong variable y. That's why, siya isang function. Meron siyang dalawang variables. Kung mapapansin niyo, may dalawa tayong variables eh. Meron tayong variable x and variable y. In which, your x is the input, your y or f of x is the output. Parang ganun lang naman eh. Pag function, meron tayong input, meron tayong output. Okay? So, dito naman sa kabila, wala tayong ibang variable aside from y. Ang pinagkaparehas lang nila, they are both using equal sign. Okay? Ngayon naman, eh sir, mas mabalis, mas mabalis po ba itong makikita kung siya isang, isang rational inequality? Yes. As long as meron kang equal sign, ay sorry, um, inequality symbol, kahit ano sa apat ito, at the same time, meron kang part na merong rational expression, automatic rational inequality yun guys. Okay? So let me give you examples naman na hindi. So let's try having this one. Ito. Square root of 2 over x plus 1 is less than or equal to 3. Ito po ba isang rational inequality? Kasi meron siyang inequality symbol, tapos meron siyang parang fraction. Hindi po. Bakit po? Ang rational expressions, ito ha, rational, baka isipin nyo kasi yung rational expression to. Dapat kasi polynomial to at polynomial to iba. Polynomial ang numerator at polynomial ang denominator. In this case, square root of 2 is not a polynomial. Hindi pa siya polynomial. So, ibig sabihin, not rational, not rational inequality. Hindi po siya, hindi. Okay, not rational inequality. So, how about this one? Let's try this one. Um, baka makonfuse kayo. What about this one? Let's try having... this x minus 2 over x minus 1 is equal to y. So, syempre, hindi siya rational inequality kasi meron siyang equal sign. Ipili tayo ngayon. Is it a rational equation or rational function? Guys, meron tayong variable y. Again, meron tayong variable y. In which, sabi ko sa inyo, pag meron variable y or f of x, definitely that is an example of rational function. Okay? So, dito siya kasama sa x minus 2 over x minus 1 is equal to y is an example of rational function. You know, guys, I hope na nakatulong sa yung video natin about the difference of rational equation, rational inequality, and rational function. So, guys, if you're new to my channel, do me a favor. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Goodbye!